They're just pieces of paper, but with a few folds and a toss. These kids created the magic of flight. Pilots ready, set, throw. Competing in the great paper airplane fly-off at the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona recently, they probably were not marveling at making the magic happen. But paper is like that, known for what it does, not so much for what it is. Paper is at the center of so many of the uh, elements of the development of civilization. Mark Kurlansky has written a history of paper. It's about communication and, and writing and thinking and art and science and architecture and mathematics and political movements. And that's why it's such a great story, you know? <laughs> a story that begins in China, where supposedly nearly 2,000 years ago, a eunuch in the royal court named Kai Lun invented paper. The Chinese were really the only ones to invent it. Everybody else just took the idea. For papermaking to spread from China along ancient trade routes to the Middle East and finally into Europe took a millennium. The name paper comes from papyrus, but ironically, the dried reed sheets the Egyptians wrote on were not really paper. It's very similar to 2,000 years ago, except we have electricity and we're using actually a partially processed 100% cotton today. But it's really the same thing where you're making a pulp. To make paper, some sort of plant fiber, wood, cotton, linen, hemp, among others, is beaten into a pulp and then soaked in water until it becomes what's called a slurry. Amy Jacobs is education director of Dieu Donne, a paper making studio in New York City. So we're going to mix up the pulp and the water that was added just a little bit. So the secret ingredient, cellulose. Exactly. Oh, it's cold. It is cold. A substance in all plants <laughs> that acts like glue. It's fine, it all comes off okay. <laughs> very easily. And causes the fiber particles to bond together. There you go, give it a shake in both directions. Until mechanization came along, this is how all paper was made. That's good. Voila. Wow. You made a sheet of paper. Which became a problem in the Middle Ages when demand for books increased exponentially. So this is one of the original Gutenberg Bibles. Now this is for 1455? Yeah. The Gutenberg Bible was the first major book printed on a printing press using movable type and it started a paper revolution. It showed that printing could work and uh, work well and be easily reproduced. And uh, to do that, uh, it really needed to be on paper. Fewer than 50 survive. The Morgan Library in New York City owns three. Now, what sort of paper would this have been? Uh, mostly linen, uh, linen and other rags. Rags, that's what almost all paper was made of then. So no rags, no paper, which is why Benjamin Franklin, founding father and famous printer, was in the rag business and owned paper mills. Pennsylvania, Franklin's home state, was the heart of early American paper making. It was here, in the town of Chester, Pennsylvania, on the Delaware River, that in 1890, the Scott brothers came up with that great innovation, toilet paper on a roll. By then, most paper was being made out of trees, not rags. Have you ever seen a two-ton roll of toilet paper? Next, turning these into human-size rolls. They do a regular bath tissue ballet. Minutes later, they're all packed up and ready to go. Two million a day from this factory alone. 700 million rolls, roughly a year. Jeff Hutter is operations manager at the Chester Mill, now owned by Kimberly Clark. We can basically wrap the entire earth a thousand times with all the paper that we make with Scott 1000. In a year? In a year. 
Americans used more than 77 million tons of paper in 2015, although we did recycle more than two-thirds of that. Back in Tucson, though, at the paper airplane fly-off, the statistics were of another sort. I'll take one corner. Ken Blackburn became an aeronautical engineer. You want to lift the wings up. Because he loved paper airplanes as a kid. Very good. Yeah, sure. Ready. Among the day's winning throws, Michael Thompson's was the longest. 104 feet. Not bad for a piece of paper. 